हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक माय यूट्यूब चैनल कोर्ट प्ले सो टुडे दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ माय क्रैश कोर्स सीरीज सो आई विल लेट यू नो विच टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एंड आई विल शो यू हाउ इट विल वर्क सो फर्स्ट दिस इज माय यूट्यूब चैनल कोर्ट प्ले प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल and press the bell icon for every updates so uh basically today i will cover try to cover components and modules so basically what is components components are the most basic ui building blocks of an angular application an angular application contains a tree of components uh we have a may like uh, may have one or more components in every angular project in large application project we can create many components according to our need basically component is encapsulate the data logic and html for a view means everywhere like everything you just see on the screen okay so like uh, in component what we can do for the component component like we can add the footer header and navigation bar and we can display the dashboard we can display the how to find our data it's depend on your requirement and let's come to the point of module module is a container for a group of related components every angular app has at least one module called app module so component encapsulate the data logic and html for a view but module contains the group of those components which are related to each other so if you want to create an angular application so what we need to do first we have to create the project let me create it right now now click here cmd and try to if you already install the node js and all the configuration you are not i will post my uh, previous video and i will uh, like i will add the link description inside in this video so you can go through and understand how to uh, configure the node js how to install the cli so you can able to create an application just go to like type the command in g and hello world whenever we are going to learn any applications like java dot net angular typescript whatever we are not going to learn routing so i am pressing right now in this video we will learn forward so um, like uh, whenever we are going to learn any technologies first we are just creating the hello world one more thing if you are not install the visual code editor so just install that editor it's a free of free It's developed up by Microsoft. Yes, what you can see. This is the fantastic editor. Like you can edit anything here. But I already opened the project. Right? So here you can see the project is created. Now type cd. Tab. 
wiring now and put the jig it will take a few minutes after that it will run so it is combined right now so we will create a component first there are three steps create a component register a component in module and add an element in a html mark so let's start this just a second it's compiling Basically, today we will learn how to work the component. Okay, so if we are just creating a component, so what we have to do? Okay, we will learn. Now it's you can see it's compiled successfully. So what we have to do next? Just open this URL. see a few features are uh, angular on this, uh, this page like how to create a component ng generate component component name material store at the material at the pwa supports at dependency injection run watch test build for production and much more okay so what we have to do we have to do just break this and open study code space dot then the code will open code editor we use code editor and the project automatically open okay go to in src app go to airport component and delete all this type Now what next? Just I'm going to show you how it works. First, going to main.ts file. Here you can see the platform browser dynamic a bootstrap module app module. So here what the what it does platform browser module. Platform browser module like if you open in the mobile it will show as a mobile view if you open in the laptop it's like device compatibility every device where you are opening this project or this application so it will load according to that screen size next this is the index file that app would define app root is a selector selector likes wherever you are going to create a component this app would select is automatically set in selector so whenever you are loading that only particular component load on in the index file so app.module this is the module file that is the group of components modules so here app comp five component is already defined like whenever you are going to create a component and you want to use first have to define here okay okay so what next this is the spec.ts this is the testing file component.ts this is the ts file where you can write your code like title here you can put it title in html like here nothing to do much just banana box this is the css file for particular component and this is the style.css like this is the master so if you are writing some css here uh, so uh, that will reflect on every component ok 
okay this is the package.json you can see here the command and the search and the build and the test in it okay and the dependency is like animation common compiler for form platform browser platform browser dynamic the all packages and that dependency Station. So here, this is your master file selected style dot CSS. If you want to add new CSS, you can put comma and with double bracket, and you can put here. Okay, and the script as you want to do the script, you can put here as well. So this is the basic configuration for this project and this Angular and. Uh, Hit run again, hit it run again. Now you can see when you run this, you will throw that like it is not found, application not running, so it can't reach. Also, if you don't want to use command here, you just use terminal VS Code here, the terminal. And you have to select the terminal like PowerShell, whatever you want to use here. Okay. One more thing, you can install the extension here. Here, like if you want to Angular files, I have installed any extension here. I can see Angular files, Azure repository, Azure tools, Prettier, Packet Pair Color. CSAP, CSAP extension, Docker, Git Blame, Git Lens, NPM, many things. In extension, I have according to my project, according to my need, I just install this. So you can install that will remove that. And now see the command it's working right now. Just a moment. You can see the first program. very excited excited to show you if you are beginner you don't know about the angular okay now you can see here compile successfully it's going browser and see hello world so this is the one way binding here like how to show the data over the html by the component so this is the title title this is the string type variable defined and this variable you can we are using here by using banana box okay okay so you know uh, whenever we are going to create any components and we want to use just declare here in declaration part and browser module that will browse your component if you are not using browser module you can see here okay, let it. you are not able to see anything here just go to console and see what is it? no error handler it play, is platform module browser module include so question mark is asking to you are you included the browser module you there you can see okay so this is the basically basic example of the how to work a component and how to create the component ng g C and component and test. Wait here. Component is created and you can see it automatically declared by the okay by this <coughs> in this. 
it's automatically import here automatically declare whenever you are going to create a component by cmd okay so you can see here this is four files created css html ts and test file okay so thank you guys thank you thank you for your uh, support please like share and comments and uh, watch full crash course which is free of cost and i am also be able always to help you i'm very happy to hear like for helping please please share more 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 okay guys thank you bye bye